everybody, this is Kim. I'm back again with another video. <laughs> um, I would like to say welcome to all my new subscribers. What's up to the people who've been rocking and rolling with your girl from day one? Or if you've been here for a while, thanks for always coming back and checking my videos out. Don't forget to watch my entire video as well as leave comments and thumbs up the video. All of those things really do help my channel. Today's video is actually going to be on the candles that I burned for the week, which is Sunday to Saturday. So my first burn was this candle from Aldi, which is Sunday morning. To be real, real honest, y'all, I really can't even tell you what, what the notes are in this candle because I don't know. As you see, I did burn it. This has more of a soft floral um scent really really nice yeah this is nice you know all of all these candles really do well these 399 candles amazing amazing if you haven't got your hand on any of them you're missing out because it's it's worth it four dollars for a candle that throws like bath and body works or better than bath and body works yeah this candle is a, these candles is a must-have in your collection if you collect candles if you a candle lover like myself and a couple of other people um yeah all the candle is a must get you must have these candles in your collection so that's what I burned on Sunday on Sunday my Monday burn was Goose Creek melon lemonade I don't even know if these have the notes at the bottom nope it don't but I don't think I like this candle I'm gonna give this candle another try um yeah I don't even think I even burned this candle for the whole entire day I think I lit it and then I did something else I burned a different candle the same day but this candle has like a it had a it had a weird smell to it now smelling it cold to me this one smells like Crayolas which is crazy <laughs> I don't get the melon or lemonade um, when I burned it it was just like a weird mixture I, I really didn't like this candle at all um, but like I said I only burned it one time for maybe a couple of hours as you see the wicks look horrible mushrooming like crazy but these are very thick wicks um i think what i probably don't like about this candle is it doesn't come off as sweet this candle comes off more as like a tart um lemonade not like a sweet um like a, a really sweet lemonade or a sweet melon mm -mm. this comes out very tart to me okay so like I said I burned this candle for a couple of hours and then after I blew that candle out I actually lit this candle <laughs> I actually lit this candle candle this candle is amazing nice 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 candle super nice candle there's the notes on it and I'm not sure if they um as you see the wicks did really really good and I burnt this candle for a while it didn't pull all the way out as you see but I don't really care about that because you can always wrap foil around it to get the candle to pull all the way out nice candle very nice um coffee scented candle if you love that that candle aroma you'll love this candle nice 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 yes it kind of got like a chocolate coffee smell is it chocolate in this no cedar wood orange coffee vanilla and donuts nice candle very nice candle i haven't seen this candle in a while like i said it was i think i got this at um the past sas sale i think for 75 percent off good pick this was an excellent pick um i think i'm going to get that paris cafe 
because I think if I like this candle, I might really, really like that candle. Tuesday candle was this Aldi candle, this lemon macaroon candle. It's a two wick candle. And as you see, the wicks is down in the, in the wax. But it's not a big deal because most of the time with um, all the two wick candles or one wick candle, I usually put them under the warmer. Always. Always put them under the warm warmer. Um, because that's the only way you're going to get amazing throw from all the one wick or two wick candles. They just don't throw good if you light them at all. But this candle smells just like Fruit Loop cereal. <laughs> and at first, I was thinking more like Girl Scout cookies, um, like the lemon Girl Scout cookies. But when my daughter came in and she was like, "These, this smells exactly like the Fruit Loop, the lemon Fruit Loops." Yeah, and it does. Nice, very nice candle. Very nice candle. But I only bought one of these. So that was my Tuesday burn. Okay, my Wednesday burn was passion fruit and banana flower. I had to check my Facebook page because for the life of me, I could not remember. So this, looking through my photos, this is the picture I post on Facebook. Now, my Thursday burn, this nest candle. Sicilian tangerine. And this candle, the notes is um, tangerine, bergamot, uh, mango, and passion fruit. Nice candle, and as you see, it's a one wick. It's a one wick candle. Nest candles throw is really, really good. The downside about some of Nest candles is it don't pull all the way out. I think this candle would be better if it was two wick versus one wick. And I don't know. It could be too much because I think this is a four ounce candle. Uh, no, this is an eight ounce candle. I think if it was a two wick, it'll pull out better. But under the warmer, amazing amazing this one wick candle throw like these three wick candles amazing nest makes amazing really good candles as you see the the wax is very soft very soft wax super soft i don't know if you can see that or not but the wax is just you see how soft it is good it's, it's this is amazing candle they're they're kind of expensive but i get mine from um i normally get mine from nordstrom racks for half the price so yeah nice candle melts really good like i said the downside is sometimes they don't pull all the way out but if you put them under the warmer you know you can fix that problem or if you put foil around it, you can fix that problem. And like I said, this smells exactly like oranges. Citrus candle. Nice, 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 nice. Friday, happy Friday candle. Friday candle was this pineapple colada candle. As you see, I burned it for a little while. This candle is really strong. Amazing throw. Um, there's the notes in it. It has like, yeah, I didn't really get, it says whipped, fluffy whipped cream. I didn't really get that and I probably have to try it again. I don't know if my sinuses was bothering me or what was going on when I burned this candle because I couldn't even, I couldn't keep it lit. It was just giving me some issues. This candle so. out after probably maybe two hours of burning it because of the scent was just bothering me because of, I don't know. So, I will try this candle again and give a full review of it when I get the chance. So, that was my Friday burn. Friday evening burn was this black cherry Merlot. As you see. Um, 
somebody told me that this candle normally has a really good throw but the mistake I made is I, I'm sorry y'all the dishwasher is going if y'all heard that I'm sure that y'all do but um the mistake I made is I burned this candle right after I got done cooking and I shouldn't have done that because I couldn't even smell the candle to be honest only thing I smelled was the food that I cooked <laughs> so yeah that was my Wednesday burn um yeah so I'm gonna just I'm gonna have to burn this one over to really get a good throw on it and really see how this candle smells Saturday Saturday I had to pull out one of my favorites this is my smoked vanilla candle amazing candle amazing candle I hope I can find this candle at SAS summer SAS I really really do I absolutely love this vanilla scented candle I really really do and I don't even normally like vanilla scented candle candles but I noticed I'm starting to get into that but I just I love the smokiness of this of this candle amazing amazing I think I have like two more but that's an amazing candle amazing one of my favorite candles and I don't know if it's gonna be now well I can't even classify this as the 2020 um you know the first half of 2020 top 10 candles this will not be on there because this was actually a, a winter release so um so yeah that was everything that I burned for the whole entire week all of these that's that's what I did all week that was the pick for the week nice little mix up as you see it's a whole lot of different different scents I didn't actually stick to one type of scent I kind of hit everything <laughs> um, out of all of these I think my favorite burn had to be of course my smoked vanilla I think my second favorite had to be the campsite the campsite coffee had to be like my second and then my third favorite goes to this Aldi candle so out of all these the three favorites of the week the three favorites of the week so yeah y'all I guess I'll probably do one of these videos every week just to let y'all know what I'm burning for the whole entire week and it will come with my Instagram pictures that I post along with, like I said, what I burned. <laughs> Alright y'all, don't forget to subscribe, click the thumbs up, leave me some comments. What did you burn this week and what was your favorite burn of the week? I'm sorry about the dishwasher y'all. It's been on delay for like three hours and it finally decided to kick on while I was recording. So I'm sorry about that. Alright, I see y'all in the next one. Peace.